and welcome to this edition of On the Edge in Focus. I'm Jasmine Campard and I'm here with the Assistant Coordinator for CSUF's Veteran Student Services, Daniel Akers. Hello Daniel and thank you for being here with us today. Thank you for having me. Yeah. So can you tell us a little bit about the Student Services? Sure, um, Veteran Student Services is a program in student affairs here at Cal State Fullerton. Uh, we focus on guidance, support services, and resources for student veterans. And when did the services start? The services started in 2010, was uh, when the agency was founded. Uh, there was a student veteran here on campus mm -hmm. who uh, had done an internship trying to gain support and build up a, a you know, good population of student veterans on campus okay. and throughout the process was able to uh, get the university to recognize that there was a lot of student veterans and that they needed some more support through student affairs. And uh, what kind of things is it exactly responsible for? We, um, our main mission is, uh, of course, the retention and graduation for student veterans. So we're here okay. to support student veterans throughout the process and uh, keep them in school, keep them focused, and get them out to graduation. And I know you, uh, you're the assistant coordinator. Yeah. So as assistant coordinator, what does that mean exactly? What are you responsible yeah, for? Most of my responsibilities are kind of a day-to-day -day run the office. I have a lot of student workers that work with me. And then I do a lot of guidance and I do a lot of advising for the student veterans. Um, I'm the advisor for the Student Veterans Association and uh, in my office like my desk is in the student office so okay. the student study space the student area is my office pretty much so, so I'm always with students. Kind of yeah. in the hub of it all. Right? Yeah, yeah it's pretty fun. <laughs> and what got you interested in this? Well I'm a vet myself. Um, oh, okay. I uh, you know, served in the Army, went to community college, came to Cal State Fullerton mm -hmm. and then uh, when I first started here I was asked to do a focus group for student veterans and what their needs were on campus and throughout the the focus group panel at the end of the semester I was the last student that still kind of came around and right. helped out answering questions so um, they asked me if I wanted to intern I said yeah and after a semester of interning I was offered the assistant coordinator's position. Oh so, that sounds awesome. Yeah, yeah. How do you think this program benefits students? Um, I think it really gives the student veterans a sense of community on campus. Um, it, it, it helps them form better connections to the university and if a student's more connected to the university they're more likely to persist, they're more likely to graduate. Uh, so I think sometimes uh, you know non-traditional age students might not feel like they fit into the campus mm -hmm. and being a commuter campus it's a little bit more difficult to get people involved right. but um, having another you know group of students that have a similar status or are right. able to identify with it makes it easier I think for students to stay connected. And it seems like um, feeling connected and feeling like you're a part of the campus yeah. really does help push students towards graduation. Oh, definitely, right? definitely, yeah, having uh, that identity, sure. And what kind of programs um, help connect the students to the community through this service? Yeah, well, the Student Veterans Association, of course, like their student organization mm -hmm. is huge. Um, we do a lot of service events, we do community service right. events, we do a lot of um, camaraderie events with the students, but then we also just have uh, you know, in our office, the guidance that we give them, we try to pass it on from student to student. So say like if I help a student out with an issue mm -hmm. they might have, maybe later on that student is able to help another student. So it kind of builds up their own self-efficacy, being able to help themselves and being right. able to help others. So it seems like it's almost kind of like a chain reaction sure, that you're yeah. creating within this group. Yeah, as they get more connected, they grow they're able to pass that down to the newer students coming in and they're able to build up uh, more strength with identity and with uh, within the program. So. Okay, um, and how does this program kind of tie into education, would you say? Uh, I think that sometimes it can be a little bit difficult for a, a student vet to, to see their place at the university, and we try to bridge that gap to make it so that it's not too military, it's mm -hmm. not too university, it's a little bit more balanced, right. so that the students do form a good identity as a student, mm -hmm. but also they keep that veteran you know, status in mind. Um, right. So yeah, we try to you know really push the the balance between both identities as a student, as a veteran, and what does that mean getting more connected to the school? And I think you mentioned uh, focus groups also. Yes. So uh, could you please elaborate on that? What what happens in these groups? How oh, do you sure, join sure. the focus well, groups? The one that the one that I did was. Uh, it was just, you know, the services were just starting out. They wanted to know what did the students need on campus. So they asked a bunch of the student veterans to come in and talk about what our needs were, what we thought they could do for programming. Mm -hmm. And I think four of us showed up. Like I said, throughout the semester, I was the last <laughs> one who actually was still coming in because I thought, it, you know, maybe it wasn't going to benefit me, but it might right. benefit students down the line. Right. And I think that 
getting into the job mm -hmm. is kind of, that's been my philosophy throughout, is that like what you're doing now might not benefit you specifically as right. a student, but somebody that's here in a year is going to see the benefit of that. Right. So. And is this, uh, are the focus groups open to anyone on campus or how, how would you get involved in these kinds well, of? Yeah, um, usually focus groups are pretty specific, so okay. they'll want to meet with like, you know, the student veterans to find okay. out what are their needs on campus, or maybe even the student veteran staff in the office to find out like how the office is running, if there's right. things that they think we could do better. Um, so they're usually more specific, they're not uh, typically open, but right. um, we do have our student veterans association, we have meetings, and any student that wants to can come to that. Uh, can uh, hang out. And in terms of if I wanted, what can I walk into for and ask at the student services. What kind of, do I walk, are there programs? Can I just walk in and talk to someone? Oh, sure, yeah, yeah. We have, I mean, we have support programming. We have a counselor on site. Okay. We have, you know, we have computers with printing. We have Scantrons and Blue Books, all that good stuff for students. Um, but then we have a lot of guidance and we do a lot of support services working with other groups on campus. So like if you have questions about career, we have connections in the Career Center. If you need uh, help with financial aid, we have somebody who works in the financial aid office that we collaborate with. And mm -hmm. Pretty much every office on campus, we know somebody that we can work with, so it makes it so it's like a calm one-stop shop, but it's a place where a student can come and get all of their questions answered instead of mm -hmm. having to go to 10 different offices just to figure out what they're trying to do. Right, so. and uh, what kind of more like fun activities do you offer to help students feel connected to the yeah. campus? We, uh, I mean, we have a lot of camaraderie events. Um, Today we're doing a Christmas potluck in like an hour. Ugly Christmas sweater party. <laughs> that sounds like fun. <laughs> yeah, and I think tonight we're going to go bowling, go out oh, and hang okay. out afterwards. Um, we do some bigger events. We have a Veterans Appreciation Night, which is like all the student vets get together and we mm -hmm. celebrate our graduates. Every summer we do the Gladiator Mud Run out at the Great Park at Irvine, which is a lot of fun. It's mm -hmm. kind of crazy, but it's cool. So we do, we just try to set up things like if it seems like the students want to do it, we'll do it. And so a lot of the decisions made are kind of based around what they need. And do you take suggestions from students? Oh, of course, all the time, all the time. And the program is open to both um, males and females? Yeah, we have a very strong women veterans group, um, high level of involvement, which is a little bit rare, but we've spent a lot of time uh, working on being really inclusionary and um, making sure that the women veterans on campus know that we do respect their service and that we are um, you know, here and available for everyone. We also involve a lot of dependents, which are like family members, children, right. or spouses. And then we have students who are not student veterans or dependents, but they just somehow got connected to the group. And they like to be there, like to come around and hang out. And the students that participate in this sure. program, uh, do you see them giving back to the community as well? You think it helps them oh, kind of give back as well? Yeah, definitely. Um, we do encourage them a lot to do service projects. The uh, you know, Student Veterans Association is part of the Community Service Interclub Council. Mm -hmm. So they do go out and they do a lot of community service events. Um, we really encourage them, too, to give back you know, not just to the community, but to each other and to the school. If we can, you know, doing things on campus or doing things for fellow veterans is always big. And as a non, as a non-vet, mm -hmm. how how would I be able to get involved in this program? Is it a requirement to be a vet to be involved? Oh in no, this? no, definitely not. Um, just come by. That's what we tell people all the time. If you want to know what it's like? Just go in the office. I mean, when I left to come over here, I think there was about 20 students in there. It's a real small place, so it's okay. really crowded. But everybody's kind of loud and crazy. But it's right. It's fun and it's exciting and it makes it so people want to get involved and like, yeah, I mean it's a good group of students. I mm -hmm. think a lot of people feel maybe that they don't know how they would fit in with right. the vets, but you know, it's, it's, it would be good for them. It's just as good for them to have non-veterans in there right. as it is for the non-veteran to get to know vets. And you see this program, is it growing? Do you see it gaining oh, popularity definitely. across yeah. campus? Yeah, um, we, you know, our student veterans are really using the office, really using the space. We're going to be getting a new office space uh, later on, end of the semester, beginning of next semester. Um, that sounds exciting. Yeah, it's, it's, <laughs> it's really expanding. We've had a high level of involvement, high level of uh, student engagement, which is really important for a program to grow. Right. And what would you say is the number one priority? Do you have a mission statement or? Yeah, I mean, our number one priority is graduating students get into the career that they want. Right. Um, that's the big push for us is to help them be successful so when they're done with school, they know what they want to do, they know what the next steps in the path are. Exactly. Yeah. In this uh, program, mm -hmm. do you see students starting and continuing, or do you see them coming back to it as oh, yeah. throughout their their time here at CSUF? Yeah, definitely. Um, you know, if you if you want to 
like to be technical about it, it's like <laughs> first semester, maybe not, you know, okay. they, they aren't so involved. Okay. And the last semester, the involvement might start to trail off. But students usually in the middle of the program are when they're, they're most involved, when they're really right. there, they're really getting engaged. Because I think first semester, everybody's kind of feeling the school right. out. And the last semester, you're really focused on what am I going to do after this, so. And I think for a lot of people, um, mm -hmm. it's very hard trying something new. Oh, definitely. Um, it's kind of nerve wracking almost. Yeah. What would you say to the student who wants to walk in, but maybe they have a couple doubts or they're a little nervous to walk in? What sure. would you say to them to kind of get them to come in? Yeah, it's, I mean, it's hard to put into words like what it's like in the office. I think sometimes students just need to get in there and experience it to see like that maybe it's not going to be what they think. I think a lot of people, uh, student veterans will come out of the military, go to school, and they expect mm -hmm. that if they get involved with the veterans group, it's going to be a lot like the military. And ours isn't like that. Our, right. We try to, like I said, really be balanced between military and university. And um, I think getting past the, you know, maybe the assumptions that we make about getting involved with stuff, right. just, you know, taking a chance and doing it will help uh, kind of alleviate a lot of those fears, but help students do, you know, who have issues get involved. So. And I think once they do take that step, they'll definitely be happy that they did. Oh, yeah, yeah. There'll definitely be a positive outcome. Yeah, we, uh, if a student comes in the office once, there's a really good chance that we're going to keep them and uh, have them coming in again and again. So. And it seems like the program's growing and it's really helping yeah. connect the students to the campus. Yeah, definitely. So hopefully, what do you see coming up for you guys in this upcoming year? Well, in the next semester, I mean, like I said, we're going to be uh, moving out. We're going to be expanding our space. Mm -hmm. uh, they're going to be hiring, you know, uh, moving for a, a director's position. Okay. for the office so instead of just having a coordinator we'll have a director which will be really nice um, and just expanding the services that we're able to give to the students also expanding the space so we can get more students in the door is uh, I think really where we want to be at. Well it seems really great yeah. and I hope you keep expanding it seems like a great program. Yeah. Thank you so much for being here with us today Daniel. Yeah, thank you for having me. That's, cool. That's it for this episode of On the Edge In Focus. I'm Jasmine Campbell and thank you for watching.